when you're open, Dominic and myself, uh, if not James and Pippa as well, we will go to the Royal Oak in Salisbury happy. and put a lot of money behind the bar. More than happy to do that. Yes, yeah. please. Yeah. Yes, please. We'll do uh, if you do that, we'll do. if you do that, I'll, I'll I'll be the waiter that evening. Oh, oh perfect. Yes. perfect. Even better. Let's all get drunk and eat fish pie. <laughs> Mr. James May. Yeah. Good morning, James. Good morning. How are you? I'm all right. Can your listeners, stroke viewers, see me as well? Yeah. Yeah. That's bad. <laughs> the, the whole point of radio used to be that I you know. can dress up. I know, but it's it's modern technology and all that these oh. days. It's you know, it's intrusive. It's who, spoiling everything. Who's do you even do? Uh, do you even listen to the radio on a radio? Actually, I do. Good, good man. Well, I listen to it on a variety of devices, well, this... but among them is a radio I've had for 25 years, yeah. yeah that. So that probably can't actually pick up the radio station that you're currently on right now, I would imagine. No, I imagine. And not. that one can't, but my <laughs> other one can. <laughs> but the, the, that, that one, the 25-year-old one, I'll be a, a sort of hi-fi bore for a moment to say, it's old transistor technology, so it has a very warm sound. Love that, love that. And do you still prefer vinyl then to CD? Uh, not... Not in terms of convenience or space saving, but actually handling records. I do, yeah, yeah. I do. I love the smell of them as well. Records yeah. smell amazing. Oh, yeah. God, we sound so old. <laughs> we yeah. are. We are old. We're talking Should about. We talk about putting record cover sleeves on your head. Do you ever do that? Oh, no. No. What's that? Well, if you, if you, it's the thing we used to do at parties. If you've got an, an album cover, hmm. You can take the record out, obviously, but then if you just squash it from the side slightly, it'll go on your head as a sort oh, of Oh, I see, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. And if, it, yeah. if it's a gatefold album, you know, like a concept album from the 70s, you've got it on your head and you've got a flap as well with some lyrics <laughs> on it. It's, it's brilliant. Wow. It's, it's amazing you're still not a virgin. Now, you... <laughs> <laughs> you're assuming that. Well... <laughs> yeah. So earlier, was it earlier it, this year that you took the brilliant decision to invest in a pub? Half, half a pub, half yes. A pub. Half a pub. It's, it's closed again, but it was open for a week. <laughs> oh, excellent. So when did, you, was, when did you get involved in this pub? Oh, well, the, the negotiations and the discussions started probably a year and a half ago. And I sort of vacillated and I wasn't sure. I, didn't, I don't really want, you know, I'm not a businessman. I don't really want to own businesses or anything like that. But then... It closed down and it looked like it was going to be sold off and it might have been turned into houses or another supermarket. So I, I got together with another bloke and we bought it. Brilliant. Because, I, because otherwise there's no pub for me to go to when I'm down in our little cottage. And what I mean, life would be over, wouldn't it? Imagine being in the countryside and there's no pub. Yes. Yeah, that's bleak, isn't it? That's so, bleak. so you, so you and a friend uh, bought, uh, got this pub, and you got it up and running again. So when was yes. it? So it was open in January. Was it yours in January? Uh, no. Okay. So when was it yours? It was mine. Um, a couple of it became mine a couple of months ago, and we had to do a little bit because it had been closed for a while. It needed a bit of sort of painting and Better sweeping love. out and dusting off, and then we opened. So we're, we're, I'm losing track. So we're, we're just starting the second week of lockdown. So two weeks ago on Wednesday, oh. it opened, <laughs> and it was open for a week, and then we had to shut it. But it was a good week. It was packed. Of so course, loads yeah. of food, loads of beer. Um, if it can keep going like that, I mean, it's, it's not designed to be a you know a massive profitable enterprise. It just has to pay the, its way. It's, stay ba- it's basically it's there for you yeah. for when you need a few pints. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yes, but in order in order for it to survive, for me to have a few pints, some other people need to go in there and have a fish pie. That's, okay, this is the, the Royal deal. Oak in Salisbury. So lockdown is meant to finish what, on the second of December. So I guess you'll you'll open then when lockdown yes. is over. Um, so we spoke to a landlord of a pub the other day, actually, yesterday. So what I'll do, I'll say, say the same thing to you. When you're open, Dominic and myself, uh, if not James and Pippa as well, we will go to the Royal Oak in Salisbury happy. and put a lot of money behind the bar. More than happy to do that. Yes, yeah. please. Yeah. Yes, please. We'll do uh, that. If you do that, we'll do. if you do that, I'll, I'll, I'll be the waiter that evening. Oh, oh perfect. Yes. Perfect. Even better. Let's all get drunk and eat fish pie. <laughs> Good. <laughs> which is Sounds good. which was one of my first ever catchphrases <laughs> yeah. in radio. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't, didn't really take, didn't take off. off really. Um, James, lovely to talk to you. Good luck with the show. It's it, from what I've seen, it looks brilliant, it's very funny, and very um, good. Thank it's, you. It's a great idea, and uh, good luck with lockdown. And uh, love to you and the family. And we'll see you in the pub in the Royal Oak in Salisbury uh, early December. Look forward to it, and love to you and all your radio friends. <laughs> Thank you very much, <laughs> Thanks, James. Mr. James May. Radio. 
Moyle Show.